Round four, skiers return to the slopes one day after a deadly avalanche at Palisades Tahoe. The resort reopening after a Tahoe trucky man was killed yesterday. That victim, 66-year-old Kenneth Kidd. Thanks for joining us here at 4. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Ashley Williams. Authorities say they're still investigating the cause of that avalanche. The tragedy happened on K222. This is a very popular lift. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp has been at Palisades since the news first broke yesterday and was there when the lift started turning again this morning. Ashley, how has everyone been feeling today on the mountain? Hey guys, well, it was a beautiful day at Palisades, sunny and with a show of resilience from this community. Now, after some expected delays and wind holds, Palisades got the mountain back up and running today with the gondola going and skiers, a long line of them waiting at the gate to hit the slopes. Now, even those who were here yesterday and witnessed the avalanche, even those who were caught up in it, didn't let that fear stop them from getting back out here today. Today, it kind of just made sense to fully kit out and just kind of feel fully safe. Ryan Clatter hits the slopes Thursday morning, ready for the unexpected, geared up with an avalanche beacon and shovel. No. Um, and then we have our probe here, which will extend long and you can kind of you know, probe, probe through the snow. It's one day after his helmet GoPro captured panic at Palisades. His head's up. Yeah. Good thing. Only That's thing. Scary, though. Wow. Clatter was on the lift about to ski the KT-22 run when a deadly avalanche hit. He watched from above as rescuers jumped into action to find the four people the snow swept away. After such a close call, still the mountain was calling. I wanted to get out here today and just get a couple turns in and just kind of, you know, feel a little bit more at peace. Peace comes to for survivor Janet He and her husband Joseph Liu. After she was buried in yesterday's avalanche, today she replaces her lost skis with a smile. So if you do take a tumble, it's not going to wrench your shoulder. Lucky to be alive and ready for whatever the mountain brings. Now that avalanche debris is still blocking the access road to get to the KT-22 run. Palisades telling us that's been what they focused on today, trying to get in there and get those lifts spinning again. Now we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that at 5 o'clock, talking about the avalanche control that is happening now as there's a new focus on safety on the slopes. Guys? I think the headline that keeps ringing in my ears, Ashley, is peaceful resilience, mm -hmm. right? Folks going out there and getting back on as soon as possible uh, to get back at it, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ashley, thank you. Appreciate it. See you at 5 o'clock.